Hi friends, let's talk about business of investing. Before I go further, I must tell you I'm not an investment advisor. So disclaimer is out there for you. So always contact your investment advisor for advice and everything. But I thought I'll give you some basic ideas behind business of investing. Investments of some form or the other has always been around. People invest their time, invest their attention, invest their thoughts. And of course, when we talk about business of investing, we're talking about money, right? All, I love to talk about all these other, if I may call non-tangible investments at a later time. Let's stay focused on business of investment, investing, which means investing of your money. Now you can invest your money and keep it in the bank, number one, fixed deposits at peanuts interest every month or every year. You can invest in some risky ventures. These days, many of the ventures and they are not that risky, I mean, real estate or some early stage startups, which are actually able to give you eight to 10% return. Those are there, you should consider. Then, if you are like me, want to diversify the portfolio, look at various asset classes. I talked about bank, where you have various kinds of instruments available to you, like money markets, mutual funds, uh, insurance schemes, all these things, right? Fixed deposits, that is the bank type of financial institution type of investments. Then comes the venture investments and there are less risky ones where you can get monthly or yearly return or there are risky ones where return could be higher only the company gets sold where you by investing money you get stock in return pure stock no promise of any interest and all that those are other kind of uh, investments and then mature companies stocks of apple google Facebook, I mean, you can go on and go on. I mean, in India, you have Reliance and you have so many other companies which have traditionally have given very, very good return. And most recently, we had PhonePay and Nike, I think some of these companies, which did very well initially. And I think, I don't know how they're doing now. I'm not following up, but those kind of stock, so you can invest in stock market as well. Historically, people have been making 10 to 15% return in stock market, including myself. So. I always diversify some keep in, you know, money market, mutual funds, money market is you can money that you can access easily. Mutual funds, you know, is more like stock, but safer like that. I mean, you can go on, right? And then comes other classes of investments where people buy real estate. Now, real estate, you cannot predict though. Historically, real estate in India has been growing pretty well, but last few years it hasn't. Now is the time for US to wake up. I mean, US real estate is doing very, very well. Last year, we had 20% rate of return in majority of the real estate classes. So that is another class available to you. Then comes things like gold. I mean, precious metals, gold, diamond, silver. These, these historically have been going up time over time. If you see, I remember 20, 30 years ago, a gold coin used to cost us $300. Now, I think most recently I bought it for $1,500 or something like that. I mean, so these are, you know, they go up in value over time. You can buy watches, you know, they also go up in value, though not at the same rate as gold or silver or diamond. But these watches, you can use them. And despite your use, they go up in price, not like your cars, which go down in value. And then comes new asset classes which have come in recent times like cryptocurrencies or nfts i have recorded earlier i have shared that with you earlier i am still not a big fan of nfts but cryptos i am i think digital currencies are here to stay sooner or later the world most of the world will begin moving to cryptocurrencies in today's time of ukraine versus russia that war that is going on a lot of talk around cryptocurrency being used by in fact i had thought that russia after having been cut off by all the western countries from swift network and other banking sanctions they have put on russia 
they will start resorting to cryptocurrency but in reverse i am seeing most of the ukrainians because they are not able to do banking now because most of their banks are closed the buildings are closed and they all have shut down their operation for the fear of cyber attacks on their networks so most of the ukrainians are transacting using using cryptocurrencies see in the time of despair in the time of uh, times like these cryptocurrency is coming handy because it's all in the cloud and no single person owns and you of course an attack can make a particular cryptocurrency too but likelihood of that happening as networks advance is quite minimal and even if one part of cryptocurrency network gets compromised cryptocurrency the whole idea of cryptocurrency is the billions or millions of millions or billions of computers working concurrently so one part is down other part can continue to work so times like these call for cryptocurrency same way when we want to transfer we want to do we want to buy certain asset classes they're only accepting cryptocurrency so digital currencies of various kinds are here to stay and that is going to be the future it's time for you to consider part of your investment aside for cryptocurrency so again i'll repeat financial institutions or banks offer you several ways of invest and get i would say lower return returns are always dependent upon the risk banks are safer but return is lower mutual funds next category stocks stocks in mature companies category next category returns are again less risk is less returns are also lesser than the startup stocks where the return could be high risk is also high then comes certain kind of startups which will give you a yearly return asset classes like real estate gold silver diamond watches not cars car depreciates remember this and then comes digital currencies or cryptocurrencies hope this is helpful to you if you have more questions like this stay tuned to my channel or write to me thank you